Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Staying Forever Strong. Today I have a friend of mine and an amazing artist, Pat McAtammy, um, with me to talk about just life and how she's been doing and how she stays strong. Hey Pat, how are you? Hi Alexa, I'm doing great, I have to say. Very fortunate to be able to say that. Yeah. I'm happy to be here with you. Uh, thank you, I'm happy to have you. I have been seeing you in so long, so it's nice to catch up. Same, same. I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> Have you been hanging in during all this craziness? I can't believe it's already been, what, six months? Yeah, it is kind of I'm mind blowing. Fact. So I'm, you know, doing well. And I guess it's because um, I'm somebody who's always liked to stay busy. Um, it helps me stay optimistic. Yeah. So, you know, we've been very fortunate with health and uh, throughout this period of time and um kids family members are all of like mind in terms of what it means to stay safe and that type of thing so that goes yeah. a long way to help us feel positive it does i totally agree not that it makes it any easier but at least it helps right. <laughs> yeah exactly how <laughs> How have you guys as like a family, like have you guys grown closer during all this since being home all the time? Do you know what? That is such a great question. So um, it's been interesting because even though I'm semi-retired, I work from home the couple of days I do work. And Will, our son, as you know him, um, he has to work from home. So he's been home. Oh, and um, so I, we've seen Will more than ever, you know, as a <laughs> adult with a life of his own, um, as well as his girlfriend. And then um, our daughter, of course, being at state, today's world with Zoom and FaceTime yeah. has been great, but it's really made me able to do more even with my own sister and brothers. We make it a point to connect more. Yeah. Um, so that's been interesting. I've probably done, and we've always been close. Right. But I've done even more with them and with my mother-in-law who's sweet and she's oh. in her eighties and we're, we're, uh, it's just important. So we make it yeah. more of a, a thing to do, see each yeah. other when we can do it safely. And it's the way and, we get through. Yeah. And it's been nice. It's been summer. It's like yeah. I'm ready for winter again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do all the outside stuff. Like you're stuck inside. Right. Right. Well, you know, Big gardener, at least uh, doing the outdoor stuff. But then, you know what I do inside is I'm a big painter. So yes. that's Have what I do. More about it. I love your work. So <laughs> it's um, it's been really exciting. I've done artwork all my life. So my dad uh, was an artist. He did a lot of stuff for General Motors, and um, so I had that in the environment when I was growing up. And he was like my best mentor. He was taught me the art of a good critique you know, positive critique. And um, so I paint, I do acrylics and I do um, anything from landscapes. I'm doing a series right now on um, women's expressions. Ooh. And I think that's probably triggered from, uh, you know, being in the settings of the grocery stores and, you know, that nice person that just held the door for you. You don't get to see the smile behind the mask, you know, you might yeah. see it in the eyes. So I'm kind of intrigued by that. And that's what my latest paintings are on. Very cool. So do you have the mask and everything like on a painting? You know what? That's, that's interesting too. I have an artist friend that I follow on Instagram who's done a whole series of paintings with people, famous people in masks. So you know who they are because we've all seen them in pop culture. Yeah. Uh, mine is more based on, um, some of them are women friends I have who okay. a picture of them and maybe it was on Instagram and it just struck me how maybe serene they looked or how forlorn they looked, you know, so mine don't have masks. It's more about Very cool. if you look at it, what's that person thinking? And then I put them in kind of a fantastical background. I'll have to show you sometime. Yes. I want to see. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Thank you. <laughs> Keep so me out of trouble. <laughs> And keeping you busy during like the days. Yeah. Yep. You know, a lot of people um, read and when they read, they are, it's like, oh, it's such an escape and yes. I'm in that <laughs> world. And that's how I feel about uh, painting. Yeah. 
you know you're like almost like an author like well you're an artist but like in a way you're telling a story too it's just in a different way yeah absolutely yeah because with my writing I can get lost in the world too so like I get it yeah I'm I'm very fortunate to also have a retired husband who's very tolerant of me (laughs) standing in in our kitchen which is slash my studio where I paint all day and (laughs) you know every now and then I make him lunch and I the key to his happiness (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> does he ever let you paint him <laughs> you know what um the only family member I, I have not um I've painted Emmy okay. our daughter and um I did do a kind of a stylized painting of Will for this Ooh. music related piece um but yeah Bill's not the limelight guy he'd be like he doesn't even like photographs so <laughs> uh, yeah, <no. laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> yeah. So with having this like outlet, like your painting, um, has that like helped you to like stay strong during hard times or how else do you get to stay? You yeah. Stay well, you know, um, I guess you don't get to be around my age into your late fifties without having hard times. And so, um, one of the hardest times I endured was going through, uh, Hodgkin's, which is a, lymphoma and you know cancer treatments and all that and um the thing that really was um amazing was my husband was that great relationship of yeah i i called him my rock so much and um that he uh that is what did it and yeah he allowed he absorbed so much of the struggle and worry and concern and kept me on the path to positivity, even though I'm a very optimistic person at that time, it was very scary. It's Cause hard. yeah. Yeah. Will was three years old, you know? So I think, um, being surrounded by, by strong, caring people and that big, uh, Donahue family that I grew up with <laughs> having, uh, three brothers and a sister and great in-laws. Um, they yeah. were all there, you know? Yeah. And, that's uh, amazing. So yeah, having that very much the, uh, the people thing. So even though, yeah, I love, uh, I love my artwork and that gives me some solitude where I can really get ex- lost in something. Yeah. For me, it's really the, the solace of being with the people that I just cherish that have helped me get through, uh, that instance and, you know, other stuff. I've been very fortunate that to have a long list. Yeah, I feel the same. There's like so many people I've talked to that have like dealt with different issues and they don't always have that strong support. And honestly, like, I don't know what I would have done without my parents and my friends and just the people that have always been there for me and continue to be there for me. So, right. I, um, takes a village. Yes, it does. Right. (laughs) And, um, that's why I admire what you're doing today, even with, uh, your, your podcast and your mission, I think it's just so good to be a part of what other people are doing to help others. That's probably what I could do more of now that we're retired. So. Yeah. Thank you. I yeah. definitely have learned, like I've always been, I would think like an empathetic or compassionate person, but when you're in a situation, like with my chronic pain or probably even your illness, like you really learn how to be compassionate like even if you were before like even if I have a person like if I see a waiter wait staff or a service person that isn't the nicest a lot of times like I might annoy the moment but I also think to myself like I don't know what they're going through oh yeah I totally agree with you dealing with something absolutely it it does make you it gives you a different outlook in um I think you can choose to use it in a positive manner or maybe not so positive unfortunately for some people but yeah I I've never had a greater appreciation for um people who are nurses that to me is like a a breed of people I could never be (laughs) they're amazing I have them right up there you know teachers oh my goodness I couldn't Um, (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So in those roles, it really, and you're right, it, it, 
makes you kind of slow down and appreciate, yeah. you know, we all have good days. We all have bad days. What's making that bad day for that person and right. maybe some help versus some anger. Yeah. And like sometimes, yeah, they say like in a certain industry is like, you're supposed to act a certain way. Okay. But we're all human. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're maybe supposed to leave your issues at the door, but it's not always as easy. Is it easier said than done? Totally. And I mean, look at what's going on in our world right now. And um, it's just mind blowing to me because yeah. we're all human beings. Mm -hmm. Like I, it is not in me to go out of my way to judge another person based on who I think they are. That's great. Right. Or, you know, yeah. it's like, <laughs> I don't know. I was very blessed to have the, uh, the parents and the upbringing um, yeah. that I had to, uh, I remember it was something, it's something you're, you're taught. Yeah. You know, love all. And then my dad and mom would have that message from when we were little. Yeah. They would, they would say, we're having people over to the house. They're going to look a little different from us. They are no different from us. So make sure when they're here, you don't yeah. act any different because we're all the same. And that's exactly. how I grew up. And that's yeah. the problem. It's like with all the things going on in this world, it's like, you you have to be taught at a certain I mean people can change but it's not like like when you get older it's like you've been ingrained in this way of thinking learning doing yeah so like changing it all like I hope it does work but a lot of times it's ingrained so you start when they're like when someone is little and you teach them as they grow and then it's ingrained in them yeah yeah, yeah I totally agree and life's experience shape us so you know I uh, I think the best thing you can do is try to foster positivity in a little one. Any way we can. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Where can anyone find you? Your artwork, your ah. paintings, anything? Wow, thanks for asking. Um, I have got, I'm of course all over <laughs> social media because I have young people who've made sure that I am. <laughs> but... <laughs> Um, so I'm out there. Um, I have a website and it's patmacatamneyart.com. And um, then also my Instagram account. I have a public Instagram and, and Facebook account too. And um, yeah, I welcome everybody to take a look. Hope they enjoy walking through is what I always say. Yeah, I'm going to put it also in the down below in our little description. I'll have all your website and your link so they can go right to it. Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And well, anything I can do to help further your cause too, I want you to let you. me know. I will yeah. for sure. Well, thank you. And thanks for sharing how you stay strong and how you've stayed strong. And you're amazing also. And I love looking at your artwork. <laughs> Alexa, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. I really, sure. really thank appreciate you. it. And I wish you all the best. Thank, thank you. you. This was another episode of Staying Forever Strong. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.